Okay, so we've installed Python. Now we want to install the text editor that we're going to use throughout this course. And I am just using this. It's the Sublime Text Editor. We'll take a look at it more detail in just a minute. But it's sort of like the standard text editor. Most coders use it. It's super easy to use. It has all the bells and whistles that you would want. And it's completely free. Now, uh, you can actually pay. A little box will pop up every once in a while asking for a donation. Uh, so if you want to throw those guys some money, that's cool. You absolutely don't have to. You can use it forever for free. Just whenever that box pops up every few weeks or so, just click no and, and that's that. So to use this thing, I'm just going to go to Google and type in Sublime Text. And the first thing that popped up is sublimetext.com. Or you could just go directly there. And here's the website. All you have to do is click download for Windows. Right now it's Sublime Text 3, build 3207. If it's a different number by the time you watch this video, no big deal whatsoever. Just download the latest version. Now, I'm not going to install this because there's nothing to it. Uh, just like in the last video with the Python, the little thing will pop up down here. You click it and just walk through the installation wizard. I don't think there's anything you actually have to do. Uh, just click all the defaults OK and then install it. And uh, after you've installed it, you can run it by going to your Windows Start menu and just typing in Sublime and the little icon will pop up and you can click it. So that's cool. Now, the last thing we need and the only other thing we need is a terminal, something to run commands on. And it really doesn't matter what kind of terminal you use. If you're on Linux or Mac, they come with a terminal that's perfectly fine. You can use that. On a Mac, just go up to the little search thing at the type, top and type in terminal and it'll pop up. You know, if you're on Windows, there's a command prompt or a PowerShell. You can probably use either of those. I don't like using those. I enjoy instead using the Python or using the uh, git bash terminal. It allows us to do version control. We're not going to do any version control in this course because there's not much to it um, code wise. But if you've got a big project and you want to use git or GitHub, you need something that allows for that. And this git bash terminal does. So it's really nice and it's absolutely free. So to use that, I'm just going to go to Google, Google and type in git bash. That should be it. And then here's the website, git-scm.com forward slash downloads. And so we can click download this. And I will walk you through this one because it's a little weird. So I'm just going to download this to uh, the desktop. And it takes a little bit longer for this to download. It's only 44 megabytes. So it should download immediately, especially on a high speed internet like I have. For some reason, it takes a bit to download. It always has uh, it's something about this website or something. It's just it's on a slow server or something. And here we go. It's downloaded. So go ahead and click that and run it. And let me pull this over. And so okay, it's just the license. Click next, and you can leave all of these the defaults. Now here it's saying what text editor would you like to use? Now this is weird because we're not going to use this in a text editor. You don't you use it. It's a standalone thing, right? So um, we are going to use sublime text. So I'll just leave this, but you can just ignore this if you want. Uh, just click next. And here we want to use Git and optional Unix tools from the command prompt. We're going to, like I said, we're also we're going to use the Git bash terminal on its own. So this again doesn't really matter, but we'll leave this one clicked here at the bottom and click next. Open SSH. This is for uh, pushing stuff up to like GitHub where you need an SSH key. We're not going to use any of this. Doesn't matter. We just click next. Same for this. Click next. And this is, well, this is a Git thing. We're not going to be using Git really in this course. Uh, so we can click next again. Same thing with this min TTY thing. Click next. Basically, we're just taking all of the defaults again. Click next. And you get to this final thing. And then go ahead and click install. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already installed it. So I'll just click cancel, but you can click install. Am I sure? Yes, I am. And it takes a, a couple of minutes to install. It has a little, you know, status bar thing that'll scroll through and finish when it's finished. And uh, so, yeah, that's all there is to it. So those are all the tools we need. We don't have to download anything else in order to start using this. So in the next video, we'll jump right in and start writing some code and uh, using the database.